We have a homegrown business that can help you make your own margaritas. Just started six months ago and is already finding great success. It's Teak, as in tequila. And joining me are the founders of that company, Don Ferguson and Nayana Ferguson, husband and wife team. And uh, when you work together so much to launch something like this, how does he not drive you crazy? Oh. That's every day anyway. So. We're, we're starting this early? <laughs> I thought this was going to be good. All right, so this tequila business started uh, by this couple in Metro Detroit. How did this happen? So I've been in corporate America for a long time, over 20 years, mm -hmm. and I love tequila. So I just kind of, you know, ended up not having a passion anymore. You know, I wanted to do something that I love, so I love tequila. And she asked me, if there's anything that you can do, anything at all, what would you do? start a tequila company, but there's no way I can do that. How, how is that even possible? How did, I, I mean, I was like, why not? Like, why not? Yeah. Well, yeah, if Sammy Hagar can do <laughs> it, and exactly. Dan Aykroyd can do it, exactly. and, and Jimmy not? Buffett can do it, why, why can't not? you? Yeah. So, you know what, two days later, I came with the distillery that can create our brand, and here we are. Yeah. All right, well, we have, yeah. I believe, some photos to show we do. Uh, as, uh, you know, things evolved. What are we looking at right here? These, this is our distillery. The, these are actually uh, piñas that make tequila. So that is from the agave plant. So typically with agave, it takes seven years to grow mm -hmm. just to get to the point where you can actually make tequila. So wow. they harvest that, they cook it, they slow roast it, it takes another couple of months, and then you can begin to really distill and make tequila from it. So it's a That's long, intense process just to get to where we're at right here on the table. Yeah, I know this. the filmmaker Steven Soderbergh fell in love with some sort of Bolivian rum or brandy or something and it's still sitting at the airport <laughs> in New Jersey because he couldn't import it. So if, you, if you're, that's not your swag, then this would be. What do, what do we have here to sample? Absolutely. Well, we have our coconut lime tequila. We mm -hmm. created that because we wanted to hit the margarita market and also we wanted to gear towards women too, you know, because a lot of women mm -hmm. do not drink tequila. So we wanted to get to that flavor profile for that. And over there? Yeah, we have a Reposado tequila that's actually aged eight months in whiskey barrels. Most tequilas are aged in white American oak, so this is very unique. And with the coconut lime, that is the world's okay. only coconut lime Blanco tequila. Yes. Really? World's yes. only. Yes. Right here for 31 and a third day. What yeah, you, yes. <laughs> what are you going to make uh, here in this old-fashioned glass? So, you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so I love a good old-fashioned. I'm, I'm Irish, so I love my Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. But let's do a twist because it's aged in whiskey barrels. Let's mm -hmm. just do a twist mm -hmm. on it and make a tequila old-fashioned. Really easy to make. We put that in the center. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Right here. I'll, I'll switch that would work here. better. So. It's so, very easy to make at home um, if you just have a couple ingredients. Yeah, you can do two to two and a half ounces of tequila. Um, I love how that's leaking right into the Yeah, you like, like that? Tequila. That's extra. Extra. That's, you you like know, extra right who doesn't mind <laughs> a little drippage, right? You know, uh, a couple of dashes of bitters, really easy. And then what I like to do is to just add a little bit more to it as a squeeze of orange and then put it in there give it a good stir because you want to get the agave mixed up really, really well. Okay. Just move the bottle so we can see what you're doing there on the rover cam. And just give it one more. We're good to go. And then you strain it. Okay. And then the, the other key thing about it is with a good old fashioned is you also want to do your twist of you know, orange into it as well. Uh -huh. And then on top of it, we have some maraschino cherries that have actually been infused with whiskey. So it adds that? a compliment. So basically <laughs> you just take a jar, throw some cherries in, do a little whiskey, let it sit for a couple of weeks, whatever days, I don't know. I don't want to insult your bartending, but uh, <laughs> tell everybody, hey, that's how you do tell it. everybody where, you can, uh, where they can find you. This is fantastic. So We are at uh, teakspirits.com. We are on all social media outlets on, um, at Teak Tequila. So follow us, you know, and also on, on teakspirits.com. It lists all the stores we're in. We're in over 170 stores and 20, 20 restaurants right now. And we've only been on the market for six months. Six so we're months. doing very well. The other good thing is we just got picked up so we can make that announcement here. Plum Market, Michigan. Hey. Hey. Yes, Plum Market. Yes. Cheers to that. Yeah, hey, okay. I feel empty. What, I what's going on that. here? We got, we got a taster right there. I know. Let's do that. There so we go. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Success. Thank you.